Hello, welcome to Jeannie's Art Adventures again. Um, I'm going to do a dirty pour on a rectangular canvas today. I was planning to do one on this one, but can you see that there? I left one of my sticks laying on there and it's stuck to the canvas, so I've got to do a bit of repair with some gesso on that before I can use it. Um, so we're on this canvas. Um, what I think I'm going to do is a dirty pour one end and then I've got these icing bags I'm going to try and do a sort of ribbon pour around the edges see what happens it'll be fun um, the colours I've got are a mixture of all sorts this deco cream here is the pink the red is a Windsor and Newton one just to prove I've got all sorts Rat Royal and Langanickel yellow the blue is this gorgeous metallic blue system three um, and then just to throw the mix in nicely. I don't know whether it's Valjeo or Vallejo, but it's the purple, this lovely rich purple there. Um, and then I've got black and white here, which are pre-mixed. So I'm going to start by a quick spray inside my cup. It just helps the paints flow out easily. Um, I've added some silicon into the paints already. These three, or those three, have got Dimethicone, which you can't actually see the label because my hands are all so grubby but it's on Amazon and it should be in my links page and the other three have got treadmill silicon um, to be honest I never noticed that much difference but I thought it'd be fun might get different cells if I use two different sorts so I'm going to start you can see that I'm going to start by putting some white I might as well do them both at the same time right I'm going to put some white in the bottom there And then just pull the colours in at random. Put them in. Put them in the same order. Might do. Um, red. Bit of blue maybe. I did pre-mix these colours just so you wouldn't be bored to tears watching me mix them up. Um, that's on a separate video. If anybody's interested in actually how I mix the colours up. Sometimes it's quite interesting. Everybody's got their own little methods and ways. Mine are, I've tried lots of different additives and things and um, what I'm using at the moment mainly is just Floetrol and water, paint, Floetrol and water, and some silicon. Occasionally I put a little alcohol in. I'm just putting a little bit of black in there. Um, and yeah, sometimes I've got I'd love to try GAC 800, but I haven't got any of that. Can't get it here in the UK at the moment. Seems to be either out of stock or stupid price everywhere. So that's off my list. Um, but yeah, one day. Um, what else have I used? I've tried PVA. I cannot get PVA to work for me. Um, I want it quite pale, so I added quite a lot of white in there actually looks really nice in the cup at the moment um, I wonder if that's enough paint I think it probably is I'll just put these over here so I don't a little bit more pink maybe because I know from past experience I'll knock them over it's also why I take the little lolly sticks out they're just down here by the side as soon as I finish mixing I take them out because I'm very good at knocking them over. Right, cup on, flip. I always make sure my canvas is level first. I've got my little spirit level here because I've lost so many paintings that have just looked really nice and then I come back an hour or so later and most of them are hanging off the edge of the canvas. Right. I have no idea where this is going to work, by the way. It was just random colours and random thoughts, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to take the icing bag bit next. I just put it in that cup to hold it while I mix it. And we'll see what happens. Um, the hardest part is trying to snip the ends. You really need, whoops, three hands. What I do is kind of try and tip it upside down a little bit. Um, you could tip it quite thick or quite thin. I think I'm going to go fairly thin because I want to go right round the outside. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, 
enough left to go carry on going. Be interesting. I'll come back down here. It's like little ribbons of colour. I've seen other people when they do and it comes out in the most gorgeous cells straight away, but I seem to have just got some ribbons of colour. That we'll see. You could do the same thing yourself six different times and end up with six different paintings. Nothing's new. Art's like that. Right, okay, I'm giving this one a little time set now, so magic moment, off we come. Right, it's going down the sides. I really want it to just go that way a little bit more. Ooh, I like it so far. Losing bits on the edge. Ooh, some nice big cells coming out there. Try and tip it the other way. Actually, what I'm going to do is try and torch a bit now. If I can find my torch, where are you, torch? Come on, come to mummy. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it this morning. There you are. I should really put some clean paper underneath. Ooh, running out of gas. Oh no, come on, don't do this to me. Here we go. Not really making any difference anyway after all that. Sometimes torching brings out lots of cells. Sometimes it really doesn't make that much difference. hate waste I'm going to try and just catch I haven't got a corner oh, that bit of card will do corner catchers really help with when you're tipping your paint I usually just use an old bit of cardboard but I really like the colours that are coming out in this one I wasn't sure about putting the black in whether it would just make it go too dark but it's actually just adding a nice little bit of depth into the colour. Like this little bit here, although I'm going to lose it no doubt when I turn and do this corner. Let's see, here we go. Yeah, it's going drat. Oh well, I've got other interesting bits coming up. That's the thing, isn't it? You lose some bits, you gain some bits, and I really like that. Really pleased with it. Um, nice bits of yellows coming out here. Yeah, I think there might be more coming up through that middle as it dries. I've got another little torch here somewhere. Oh, where is it? Excuse my sniffing as well, I've got a cold and it's freezing out in this shed. It might be a nice bright day, but it's flipping cold. Can't remember how to use this one. Right. Thought there might be something coming out there. Yeah. Can you see that if I move my hand? Nice little clusters coming out there. This torch is running. This is just a little butane one. The other one's on the gas canisters, but... This one's quite nice for some control because sometimes you don't want little bubbles everywhere but that just looked a little bit too bare for me in the middle there. So I like some little tiny bubbles just to give some contrast. There. A little bit down there. Maybe a little up here. I think that's probably enough. <coughs> I don't know is that that's quite restful I think maybe I'll leave that bit yeah sometimes paintings can look too busy you just start putting so much on that they get and your eye just gets tired looking at them but I'm pleased with that um, when it's dry I'll pop it up on my blog probably take two or three days at the moment the way things are going so um, I'll pop it up on there and if you want to have a look and see how it goes you're welcome um, I've got all sorts of little odd bits on my blog. It's just a painting blog about me playing with acrylic paints. Ever since I've started doing this acrylic pouring, so I'm just dotting some of the corners here. Didn't quite get covered. 
and nothing's more irritating than having what you think is a really nice painting and finding that you've got a little bit along the sides or the corners that haven't been covered so I'll check that over in a minute just make sure all the sides are covered and thanks for watching bye